How's it going, everyone? My name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussions and Rants video. So, today I'm actually going to be talking about the question that a lot of people seem to ask, apparently, because I was looking for questions and I found this one. Do you believe in coincidences, fate, and destiny? Three, I think, are slightly different in each of their own ways, but at the same time, not. Now, I'm going to start with coincidences. I personally do not believe in coincidences. I think they're just like ironic events, I guess you could say, that just happen that you wouldn't expect normally, but Coincidence, I think, is just kind of a makeup term to, like, if you can't find an explanation for it, that's the word that's used for it. But I don't really believe in the way that it's used fluently, frequently, like, when it's often used, oh, it's just a coincidence. It happened, and it just ironically happened at the same time that you would, that something goes on. Like, I don't know. Say... Like, a good idea, a good example of a coincidence, at least from what I'm referring to, is like when somebody says, it's not like, it's not like my computer's going to crash in, at any point in time, and then right after it's said, uh, computer crashes. Like, that's probably one of the better examples I can think of where people look at coincidences, but the way I see it, I don't believe in those type of coincidences. There's always a reason for something. For everything that happens, there's always some reason. Like, yeah, it kind of seems off-putting that it happens at that given point in time, but there's probably a really big reason. Like, for the example I gave, there's probably a very big reason why the computer would crash and at that point in time. Like, I didn't go into detail and say why it was said. I just was giving kind of a vague example. But let's just say, I don't know, somebody was on a website that creates viruses without the person really knowing. And someone else knows this and says, well, you, you know you're creating a lot of damage to your computer, right? Been on the website for a long time. The person says, well, it's not like the computer's going to crash or anything. Computer crashes for that reason. Try to load it up again, and it doesn't work. Memory's still there, but malfunctioning because you're on this website. Not just randomly out of the blue. That's what a lot of people point at when they say, Do you believe, like when people talk about coincidences, it's just out of the blue for who knows why. And kind of just happens because of the verbal statements. No. I always think there's a reason for something, and that's, I think that's a pretty good example of what I'm talking about. But there is one, one exception to this, and it leads into the next thing, which is fate or, you know, let's go with fate for the word for this one, or like things that are meant to happen. Like this these kind of things kind of revolve around what belief comes down to be. And it just really, when you think about it, some people have specific things they're destined to do. At least that's what I believe. Under that front, yes, I can accept coincidences. But not as the, like the very structured way that people use the term. Like, for example, I'm going to use um, my current relationship uh, with Silver um, as a pretty good example for this because it actually does work really well. Silver and I have been close friends, best friends, close friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, depends on the time, but it's been the case under one of those for the past almost eight and a half to nine years. It's somewhere around that range at this point. 
and most of the time we've kept in touch. There was, there were some events that happened with me, um, that caused that to falter that wasn't, that made it very difficult for that to happen. Um, neither of us were online for a specific point in time. Um, there are more details to all this rather than what I just revealed, but that's all I'm really going to talk about because that's not what this video is about. The thing about her and I is just that, and I've told her this before as well, it's like, when we started actually being together like we currently are, um, I told her one thing. I know that, like, the that she and I are bound to happen, it's inevitable because of very specific reasons. These reasons were kind of physical, mental, they were kind of a mixture of them. But before that, I also said that the, the boyfriend she was with at the time that she was struggling with, my brain was going, it, it's, it's hard to tell with these kind of things, but my brain was going, you've got like a 50-50 chance of still being with this guy, just because like, it's hard to tell timelines, the one that actually ends up happening in the path that you live in. Now, I'm not gonna go too much into detail on what happened, what was going on at the time. That is not for me to say anyway. But my point is, inevitability has a lot to do with this. And when you talk about inevitability, coincidence is just thrown out the window and it doesn't, it's not really considered what people call coincidence, but I still think I would still call it that even though it's not what people refer to when they say coincidence. A good example of this, aside from what I just gave, would be, well, drinking. Let's use, like, drinking or dr drinking as an example. Um, people constantly drink. Let's say someone constantly drinks. It affects some organs in your body when you do that. A lot of people know this, and it's kind of a given, but no one listens. A lot of people don't listen, I should say. But people wonder, why is my body getting... Why do I, why, why are these bad things happening to my body? Is it a coincidence that that happened? I mean, maybe, but what have you been doing? I only drank this many, oh. That's kind of my point, like, coincidences aren't what people say they are. I know this video is kind of turning into coincidences cord, but it's kind of the thing that's just, going through my mind a lot when I think about this stuff. I mean, consider coincidences and then consider events. How many events do you come across where it's like, oh, it's just a coincidence, when it's not? When you could probably think of some kind of logical reason why that would happen. There is always something. At least that's what I think. I've given a couple examples that kind of support what I thought I think about this when I think about coincidences, how they're not really the case, what people say they are, they actually don't exist in the way people push them forward. I've kind of given my thoughts on it, but what do you guys think? I want to know. If, uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys think anything different than what I've said, or if you agree, if you can add anything on, let me know. Uh, if you want to check out all the other things that I've discussed, I'll have a link to uh, my Discussions and Rants video up on the side, one of the sides here, and the other side will have a random gaming playlist. Um, I do recommend checking them out. I kind of throw out some random humor sometimes, but if you like nostalgic games, I would recommend checking it out. However, that being said, I'm going to head out, but I'll see you guys later. Bye now.